Hello everybody, I'm coming to you today from Hooligans Pub in Cincinnati, Ohio. A place where I'm pretty much a regular. One of my favorite places. But I'm not just here to have a drink today. I'm here to shoot the first episode of my new show, Drunk by Noon. A show where the food is delicious, the conversations are deep, and the alcohol never stops flowing. So let's meet my guest today. It sound right, boy. So my guest today is Brian Billups, better known as Turtle. Indeed I am. So, tell me, how did you get the name Turtle? I was given the name Turtle by a very inquisitive bartender who uh, was asking me about uh, my pet. And um, uh, if I had a pet or anything like that, when I revealed that I own a turtle that I've been sharing my life with for the last, what, 15 years, 11 years, something like that? Boxy Brown is her name. So she decided to call me Turtle. You don't name people that have, that have dogs, dog, or cats, kitty. But in this case, Turtle kind of stuck. Everybody vibed to it. And it was, I, I, I let her do it. It was a cool thing. How many years have you been going by Turtle? I've been going by Turtle now for at least seven. But I've had the Turtle. Or at least 11 is to that 15. turtle still alive? Boxy Brown is very much alive. I've just wow. fed her. You do know she'll outlive both of us. Yeah, turtles live a long time. That's right. <laughs> Especially those big ones that you can like ride on those Galapagos. Yes, right, turtles. right. And plus, I thought it was a, a cool creature to have. Uh, kind of um, shows wisdom or whatever, things like that. Yeah. So I thought it was a, a cool thing. And she's very low maintenance. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I they don't take much. Very ambitious endeavor that you're... Uh, Getting on. I'm trying so hard to make this paper. Get in the bag, you know. Yeah, chasing the bag. Chasing the bag. So speaking of chasing the bag, how do you make a living, Turtle? I'm a lumberjack by trade. I, I cut down trees. You don't see that too often, lumberjack. I think of lumberjack, ja lumberjack it. Well, I always wanted to grow up and be the brawny man. So you did. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I did not. But yeah, I kind of walked into this whole uh, career. Um, but I enjoy it. I get to throw things around and get to cut, you know, wood all day. And I'm in a different location. And it's usually always sunny. You don't do it in the rain. So it's a cool vibe. That's awesome. So how long have you been working on your interviewing skills? Oh, all my <laughs> life. All my life. So the whole life been an interview? Yes. I, I like talking to people. This show is about deep conversations, bottomless liquor, and... Um, <laughs> yeah, and delicious food. Did Deli you order some? Yes, indeed I did. I'm going with the small biscuits and gravy. Oh, with the, shit. Uh, yeah, with the bacon lightly cooked. You like your bacon lightly cooked? I like mine extra, hard, extra, extra crispy. <laughs> yeah. No, I like yours still. Yeah, just still give a little cooking. wiggle. Yeah, uh, I assume that you would like it hard. Joke. Uh, Joke. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shirt. It says marble. Indeed it does. Um, and I do sometimes, occasionally play a Marvel character. Do you? Yeah, I mean, I, I dabble in cosplay. I'm not, like, the best, but, you know, I got my Carnage outfit. Oh, my God. You next saw it I, on TikTok? Yeah, next thing I know, you're going to be coming out as a furry. I mean, no, yeah. no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, but I really bought it because at first I wanted to be a good character, but, you know, I became Carnage. Yeah, villains are way better. I guess. I I, in real life, I'm car. not a villain. Really? Well, no. I'm, I'm more of a good person, but... I try to be good. I'm more of an Eddie Brock. Uh, uh, Venom. Mm. Yeah. But I think I kind of... I'm like a character, like, you know, these character symbiotes, right? Yes. And so if that symbiote mixed with someone from Cincinnati... That's the carnage I am. Oh, okay, I can dig that. Yeah. That's a cool scene. If it didn't mix with a serial killer and mix with me, <laughs> it'd be like, I'm just gonna have red wine, put on some heels, and go to hooligans. Right, and do, and do me. Speaking of coming How out, boring. what made you not come out on Friday night? Or at what, least, what, what Friday? Not, this past Friday? Yes, yes yesterday. Wasn't yesterday Friday? I was here last night. I didn't see you I at all. I was here late. Oh, okay. You were on your creep move. No, I was not on creep. <laughs> I did. I did meet a. I did come with a. Gentleman. You know your creep move then. But not somebody I like. 
Yeah, I go home. Speaking of date, oh, uh, talk don't, about dating. Can we this? talk about dating? Are you I, single? Me, I am going through a divorce. I am separating. My uh, significant other left me because sometimes I can be a dick. Okay. All right. But I am dating. So single, but dating. Is how that long? A thing? How long ago was the end of your relationship? A year and a half ago. I'm sorry to hear that. I really wish. Did you guys have kids together? We have four grown children. No, all my children are grown. I really, pe I really want people with kids together to stay together forever. Well, who doesn't not, love black love? I mean, yeah, love is love. I'm, I'm promoting black love. <laughs> really, I am. Yeah, we all love love, but no, sometimes it's just not meant to be. And uh, how long were y'all together? Uh, 30, 31 years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's really sad for it to break up after that long well here's here's the thing here's the way i look at it because i'm the forever optimist um i met a girl at 14 that girl became a woman she was not the same girl i met and i was not the same young man that she had met you can grow apart and still be cool but can't be together okay right so um i, I hold no ill will toward her uh and we have four uh, beautiful children that we share, and and the grandchildren that came from that. It was how many a, grandkids you have? Oh my God! Everybody's named after me. I think it's six or seven. Um, yeah. You got a bunch of grandkids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, I am a grandfather. I look really nice, but I am a granddaddy. Oh my God! Somebody out there is sleeping with granddaddies. Uh, catch me on Pornhub. No, you are no. not. <laughs> You're not on that site. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought this was a totally different show. Had no idea. This is a PG. <laughs> PG 13 at least. Okay, 13. <laughs> yeah, I want somebody to be able to walk in and see it. Are you but single? Yeah, don't get it. Currently, yes. Currently, really? yes. Why? But I'm trying to change that. Well, when cute people are single, I think sometimes they're just crazy. Like, baby, yeah, that I old am water. Crazy. I, I know I that. No I know doubt. that. And I put that out in the beginning, like, so you know I'm crazy from the jump. Right, like, from I'm the gate, like, I... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna hide it. Why ain't you dating nobody? I... You beautiful woman. I like somebody. Oh, you, you're you crushing. I have a crush, actually, yeah. Go ahead. Somebody that doesn't live here, so... Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you and Go your out-of-town crushes. Oh, my so God. So, today, I'm drinking... This is the liquid marijuana, a very popular drink here at Hooligans Pub. I like just smoking regular marijuana at Hooligans Pub. But this is a crowd apple. Cheers uh, with to a beer the good bat. life. The good life. And a great show. And I'm show. living a good life. You are. You are. Love your friends. These are uh, key Australia sunglasses. Oh, very but chic. But I'm, I'm looking for some new sunglasses because it's going to be hot girl summer and we need to be like what does that entail hot girl summer what hot girl does, summer yeah it's what about, does that it's entail? about your the feeling about yourself being up here you know you're not dealing with the bs you know okay okay that that sounds about right yeah is I, there such thing I as a hot guy summer it should be yeah i've never heard of you it. having a hot guy <laughs> i think i am i'm yeah i'm living my best right now right yeah i'm living my best now turtle how old are you I'm an old man. Let's just say I'm over 40. I'm over 40? Okay, what's <laughs> old? Or how old are you? I'm only 47. I was born in the greatest year ever, 73. Okay, I'm, I'm born in 77. I'm 44. Ah, uh, 77. I remember you kids. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you act like I, if you had I'm, just been uh, left back two or kids. three times, you'd be in my class. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. Exactly. No, but, how are you finding this? Now, you've been with a woman 30 some years and now you're back in the dating mm -hmm. world. How do you find this dating world? Oh, the dating pool is. Oh, it's my. It's it. pop, yeah, it's, yeah, somebody uh, put a turd in the pool. Uh, it was not. Nasty. This, is, this is not a good thing. I don't know what it is. I believe it's. I believe it's everybody trying, but not really looking like they're trying. So I meet a girl, and I'm being completely honest, like I had, I'm going through a divorce. Uh, You're not legally divorced? No, not yet. Well, but she's been out of the house for a year now. She's been at her own place. So. Does she have a new man? I don't know. We Ooh, don't converse. When she does have a new man, are you going to be jealous? I don't think so. Because who I remember is nothing more but a memory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, I, I'm more in love with an ideal at this point. 
because she's not who she was. And if I got her back now, the trust is all gone. So I don't believe that. So she can can marriages work? I think they can. Like I know people who've gotten divorced and got remarried to the same person. Mm. And I found that very interesting at first. But I believe it's possible. But you have to um, renegotiate. You have to come back the to the table. Yeah. To yeah. <laughs> yes, I believe you have to renegotiate all of it. And uh, yeah, are you it's looking doing. for a woman you can spend the rest of your life with? Yes, I'm very marriage minded. Good. Yeah, I'm very mad. You're not out here trying to slay these hoes. Oh no, I used to throw this dick. But uh no well, I'm glad you're not today. <laughs> no, I'm very very bad. I don't uh Yeah, I don't I don't think it's really cool. Um because you only have so much of yourself to give. You know what I'm saying? And you can spread yourself really thin really fast. And I I'd have been there, done that, and I just ain't doing it. Well, I hope you find the one. I hope you find the one. I do. Well, we going to... What is it wait, that attracts... cheers to that. Cheers hoping to, that. to find the one. The one. What is it you're looking for in a gentleman? Mm. Intelligence is what I'm most attracted to. Really? You yes. like the mind? Yes. Intelligence. I've never after... slept with someone's mind. <laughs> <laughs> intelligence is the most important thing. Because you got to have something to talk about after all. For me, it's sense of humor. That's a good one too, but I got enough humor for both of us. Yeah, that's you yeah. probably do have for yeah, your, your pretty, significant I, other. Well, I try not to take myself too serious. Me either. Oh my right. goodness, that's why we get along because I am not serious. No, at all. No, at all. In fact, if we, life gets too serious, I'm like, oh, it's time for a new costume. I, right, I laugh. <laughs> I laugh about a bear's head or something weird, right. and uh, yeah, I, I can't be in that slot because. It's very uncomfortable. I'm not very confrontational. That's uh, why I could never be a politician or something. Like, why wow, you could be a good politician? I believe I would you need, take care of the people. I would need somebody doing the finances behind the scene. I could be the figurehead, but oh, I'm horrible with money. I am completely horrible with money. I, I'm with you. <laughs> it's I'm not really good with money. I spend, spend, spend. Uh, yeah. That's why I started shopping at the Goodwill South, Salvation Army, same as Paul. You were you were reminding me of that. You was telling me that you were finding great deals and great um, um, vintage yeah. clothing. Yes. Yeah, because you walk in there, you know, you can buy anything on the rack, and it's not going to break. Right. And you're going to have something nobody else has. Well, uh, yeah, and I hate dressing in a uniform. All the brothers wearing Jordans. All the, you know, the chicks is wearing the same gear. For some reason, everybody's hair is blue or purple now. Um, and yeah. I would have blue or purple hair if I have a real job. Maybe green. Green would be my color. Green? I, I like would green. love green. green hair. Yeah, green is like one of my favorites. Yes. Oh my goodness, no. People you don't blowing do up your phone? Is yeah, this, a, blow is it this up. one of your female friends? I don't know. Who it is? Who it is? No, I, I, this was a personal call. <laughs> it was a personal call. It was the kid. Um, oh, okay, okay. Your kids their age from what to what? My God. Um, 20, 23 is the youngest. 31 is the oldest. Wow. What's it like being a dad of a 31-year-old? Really weird because... That's your son, right? That, no, my son is the second oldest. My um, oldest daughter, Brianna, is my... Yeah. yeah. So I think, okay, your second oldest, your son was here one night. I remember Indeed him. he was. Yeah. And he's yeah. how old? Uh, he's uh, 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 29. Uh, yeah, 29. Wow, you, you and your son could probably compete for chicks. We we have. Oh, <laughs> really? No, for real? Yeah, for real. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Well, it's no real competition. Dad always wins. But. Oh, <laughs> I believe that. Dad always wins. Is there any situation where you have crossed? Like, no, no, no. Is no. the same girl? Yes. You talked to the same girl? Yes. <gasps> but it didn't. End yes, it didn't. No, it didn't. Please don't let that happen. Of Lord. course, that's so messy. I don't I do not do with that. That's a... That would... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not a cool thing. Uh, oh, someone's oh, coming on some... Oh, Morgan! Oh, my goodness. Morgan. Hey. Uh, we're shooting a YouTube show. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Morgan has brought the food. Oh, uh, bacon. Bacon. Sure oh. Lightly cooked as I ordered. Wait. 
That's lightly cooked. Mine hopefully is fully cooked. Yeah. Mm. No, this, this is you. Is I'm doing so the business. Hot. Is it? Yeah. I'll be very, very, very careful. Are you okay being our YouTube show? This is a show called Yeah, Drunk because by we, Yes, I'm okay. Okay. Hey, everybody. This we is Morgan. Say hi. Hi. Are you new here? No, I've been here for a couple months. I only work Saturdays, though. Oh, okay. Because I don't come on Saturdays. Oh, that's I like hot. Thank you. That's the gravy for the business. Yes, indeed it is. Right. You should try. Ooh, it. One thing I thing. need is ketchup. Ketchup? Do you need salt and pepper? Sure. All right. <laughs> salt and oh, pepper. Thank you, Morgan. Well, for, for the potatoes. Salt and pepper and ketchup. The potatoes. All right. Well, now we have to keep the conversation going. Yes. The people do not just want to see us eating our brunch. Is this brunch or lunch? Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> this show is called Drunk by Noon. Yes. So we should start drinking at 11. Uh -huh. Drunk by Noon. Yes, indeed. And if we do that, we'll be pretty much under the bus by. Uh... <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> what? So wait a minute. What happened last night? Did I miss anything? No, I came here last night because some guy, a gentleman, I, I use the gentleman word loosely. I should probably. He was not a gentleman at all. No, he wasn't so bad. I was like right in the middle, sorry. Oh, no problem. But you like, ooh, covering me up in the shop. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need anything else? We're good. Thank no, you. we're fine. Thank you, you enjoy. No, he's nothing wrong with him. Um, but So why don't you like him? He's not the one. Oh. Uh, so how would really you know like when the one guys. is the one? I don't think I like Cincinnati guys. Why not? Shallow? No, I think it's... Um, no, it's too familiar. I don't. I. I really? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sometimes familiar is good, right? Sometimes, yes. But I don't know if I like guys from Cincinnati. You think Cincinnati has a particular type of guy? Yes. And what is that guy? Um, I need them. Be to completely be, honest. No, I want guys talking about something I've never talked about before. <laughs> you, your range. You are a very intelligent woman. Right. So I don't think it's much that you could mention that you're you're not um, that you're not um, schooled up on. Can you dig it? Yes. Yes. I want a guy that's going to teach me something new. Oh, that's the reason for your last dates. Right. Well, I just want a guy who's going to be like, I want to know something I've never gotten into before. Well, the best way to do that is to jump in wholeheartedly with, with new experiences. And That's people, what I like. I feel like people here don't have enough new experiences. Well, I feel as if they just have, they don't have the balls to try, try the new, new experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't have the balls to try it. Hi! I mean, How you doing? Hello, hello, hello! Yeah, I think people just are scared to give of themselves. And that apprehensiveness kind of, you know, limits your, um, limits the people that you can uh, engage. Um, yeah, I, I think everybody has it in them. I don't think Cincinnati is just a place where, uh, where certain breeds are made. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy, you know, shallow or this and that. Cause I've, I've, can I try a little bit of your biscuits and gravy? Of course. I just want a little piece. There's no cheese in this biscuit. No, of course not. I'm really lactose intolerant. Mmm. Mm, that's good. I know how to eat, woman. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know how to eat. Do you like Cincinnati women? Mmm, good question. Wait a minute. As opposed to other women, like. All right. Like Chicago women, like Chicago girls are I just, just all right. No, I like Cincinnati women. Um, the ones I've encountered, I mean, I've, it's hit or miss. I've met uh, several ladies, and I use the term lady loosely. Like I um, use gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I use the term lady loosely. Um, that didn't um, spark your interest at all. At all. They seemed uh, as deep as a puddle. And they is a puddle. Yeah. <laughs> you like that phrase? I like it. Thank you. I try. Oh um like you for instance. Oh 
I think I lost some napkins. Don't lose any napkins. In a different world, me, you, and I, we could be. You mean not this dimension? Yeah, we have to have another dimension. At this point, you know who Turtle is. I know who Lana is. I like her, but I don't think we should date. It'll fuck up the friendship. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you and I are really cool friends, and um, any professional thing like that, yeah, you're a confidant. We making, we making a, um, we making a show. It's still recording. I love it. I know. I love it. This show about to be viral. We go, <laughs> and when we look back on it, the Cheers. next time we see each other. We'll probably be married. She'll probably be my second wife. <laughs> I'm about to marry somebody else. Oh, stop it. <laughs> promises, promises. You want to get married again? Yes. Oh, Do you want to get married? Probably. Okay. It's a good thing. Marriage is oh, nice. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I feel like marriage is falling out of favor. It is. I don't want Gen Z to think you should never do it. No, you should get married. Having someone... To wake up to is um, taken for granted a lot. Um, you get used to a person. You start loving their smile, their being. You don't want a stranger forking under your sheets. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? what about the sheets? Yeah, your sheets in your bed. You don't want somebody in your bed that you don't want to deal with. You want to be able to handle somebody for it. I tell you this much. If you're going to be with somebody, you have to know that their body is an orchestra at certain times. And you mean farting? Yes. And what do you fart in front of men? No. Why not? I don't. I don't feel like that's feminine. But it's human. It is. But I rather leave the house to do that. <laughs> and you said that so serious. You said that so. I'd much rather. Is the farting discussion making you uncomfortable? No. Are you okay? <laughs> on the next episode, farting, farting in front of your significant farting other. Farting in front of your significant other will be the topic on our next discussion. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's a great episode. <laughs> it sounds right, boy.